Good day learners. Today we're going to talk about properties and operations on integers. So here are some of the examples. In this video we are going to determine in which particular property does each example belongs. So property number one is the closure property of addition. The sum of any two integers is an integer. Example so, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So, ibig sabihin, when we add 2 integers, like 3 and 4, the result is also an integer. So, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Next, example, negative 3 plus 5 is equal to 2. We all know that negative 3 and 5 are both integers. So, the result is also an integer which is 2. Next example. So negative 4 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 9. We all know that negative 4 and negative 5 are both integers. Therefore, the result is also an integer which is negative 9. So, property number 2. The closure property of multiplication. So, the product of any two integers is an integer. Example, so 3 times 4 is equal to 12. We all know that 3 and 4 are both integers. Therefore, the product is also an integer, which is 12. Next example, negative 5 times 2 is equal to negative 10. We all know that negative 5 and positive 2 are both integers. Therefore, the answer is also an integer, which is negative 10. Property number 3, commutative property of addition. So, two integers can be added in any order. So our notation for this property is a plus b is equal to b plus a. Then ang ibig sabihin yan? So, when we add two integers, we will have the same result even if magkabaliktad yung order ng dalawang integers. So, example, so 1 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 1. So, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. On the other hand, 3 plus 1 is also equal to 4. So, kahit magkabaliktad yung order ng dalawang integers, still, we can have, we will have the same result. Next example, negative 4 plus negative 7. We all know that negative 4 plus negative 7 is equal to negative 11. On the other hand, negative 7 plus negative 4 is also negative 11. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, kahit magkabaliktad yung order or yung arrangement ng dalawang integers, same pa rin yung result nila. Property number 4. Commutative property of multiplication. So, two integers can be multiplied in any order. Ito yung notation natin for this property. A times B is equal to B times A. So, anong ibig sabihin yan? So, when we multiply two integers, kahit magka-interchange yung position or order nila, still same pa rin yung result. Halimbawa, so 6 times 3 is equal to 18. On the other hand, 3 times 6 is also equal to 18. So kahit magkabaliktad yung order ng dalawang integers, still same pa rin yung result. Okay, next example, negative 2 times 10 is equal to negative 20. So, 10 times negative 2 
is also equal to negative 20. So, kahit magka-interchange yung order ng dalawang integer, still same yung result. Property number 5, associative property of addition. If 3 integers are added, changing the grouping of numbers that are added does not change the sum. So, ito yung notation natin. So, the sum of A plus B plus C is equal to A plus the sum of B plus C. So, halimbawa, the sum of 2 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 2 plus the sum of 3 plus 5. So, simplify natin. So, 2 plus 3 the answer is 5. Plus 5, the, ans the result is 10. So, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Copy the 2. So, 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, kahit magkaiba yung grouping ng tatlong integers, same pa rin yung result pag i-add silang tatlo. Next example, the sum of negative 1 plus 4 plus 7 is equal to negative 1 plus the sum of 4 plus 7. So, let's simplify. So, following the rules of PEMDAS, so, nangin natin niya sa parenthesis. So, negative 1 plus 4, the result is 3 plus 7, the result is 10. Sa kabila naman, 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. Plus negative 1, the answer is positive 10. So as what you can observe, so kahit magkaiba yung groupings ng tatlong integer, when we add them, still we can have the same result. Property number 6, associative property of multiplication. If 3 integers are multiplied, changing the grouping of numbers that are multiplied does not change the product. So, the notation natin for this property is the product of A times B times C is equal to A times the product of B times C. So, ano yung ibig sabihin yan? So, let's have an example. So, 2 times 3 or the product of 2 times 3 times 5 is equal to 2 times the product of 3 times 5. So, let's simplify. So, following the rules of PEMDAS, so 2 times 3, the answer is 6. Copy natin yung 5. 6 times 5 is equal to 30. On the other hand, 3 times 5 is equal to 15 times 2. The result is 30. So, ibig sabihin, kahit magkaiba yung groupings ng tatlong integers, when we multiply, still, we will have the same result. Okay, next example. So, the product of negative 11 times 2 times 4 is equal to negative 11 times the, the product of 2 times 4. So, let's simplify so, negative 11 times 2, the answer is negative 22 times 4 is equal to negative 88. Positive 2 times 4, the answer is 8. Multiplied to negative 11, the result is negative 88. So, kahit magkaiba yung groupings ng tatlong integers, when we multiply, still we will have the same result. Property number 7, the distributive property. Multiplying the sum of two or more addends by a number will give the same result as multiplying each addend individually by the number and then adding the products together. So, yung notation natin for this property is A times the sum of B and C is equal to the product of AB plus the product of AC. So, this property states that if we have A 
multiplied to the sum of B and C, same lang daw yung result niya if we multiply first A to each addend. So, ang mangyari, A times B and A times C. So, ito na yun. And then, we get the sum of their products. So, ibig sabihin, same lang daw yung result nila. So, let's have an example. Example number 1. What if we have 5 multiplied to the sum of 4 and 1? Simplifying this expression, we need to add first 4 plus 1. Result is 5 times 5. Our answer is 25. On the other hand, let's try to solve this expression using distributive property. From the root word distribute, so we need to distribute 5 times 4, 5 times 1. So we need to distribute our outer term to our addend. So 5 times 4, we have 5 times 4, 5 times 1, we have 5 times 1. Simplifying this one, 5 times 4, we got 20. 5 times 1, we got 5. So, 20 plus 5, the final answer is 25. So, as what you can observe, same lang yung result nila. So let's try another example. What if we have this one? Negative 3 multiplied to the sum of 6 and 4. So, simplifying this one, we need to add 6 plus 4 first. We got 10 times negative 3. Final answer is negative 30. So, let's try to solve this one in another way. Using distributive property. So, distribute 3 times 6. Ito yung, ito yung lalabas. Next, negative 3 times 4. Ito yung mangyayari. Simplifying this one, negative 3 times 6, we have negative 18. Negative 3 times 4, our answer is negative 12. Now, negative 18 plus negative 12, our final answer is negative 30. So, same lang yung result. Ibig sabihin, multiplying a number to the sum of 2 or more addends, same lang yung result niya if we distribute First, that particular number to the addends before getting the sum. Property number 8, the additive identity property. So, the sum of any number in 0 is the number itself. So, yung notation natin for this property is a plus 0 is equal to a. Ibig sabihin, when you add 0 to a certain number, the result is that particular number itself. For example, 7 plus 0 is equal to 7. So, when we add 0 to 7, still the result is equal to 7. Next, negative 28 plus 0. When we add 0 to negative 28, still the result is equal to negative 28. So, that, yun yung ibig sabihin ni additive identity property. Multiplicative identity property. The product of any number and 1 is the number itself. The notation is a times 1. The result is a. For example, 2 times 1. The result is 2. Another example, negative 12 times 1 is equal to negative 12. So, any number multiplied to 1 the result is itself. Number 10. Inverse property in addition. So, the sum of a number in its additive inverse is 0. So, the additive inverse of a number a is negative a. Ito yung notation niya. a plus negative a is equal to 0. So, you should know that the additive inverse of a particular number is the negative of itself. And when we add a number in its additive inverse, the answer is always 0. So, example, 7 plus negative 7 
The answer is 0. So we all know that the additive inverse of 7 is negative 7. That's why when we add 7 plus negative 7, the result is equal to 0. Next example, 40. The additive inverse of 40 is negative 40. That is why when we add 40 plus negative 40, the result is 0. Alright, number 11. So, inverse property in multiplication. The product of a number in its multiplicative inverse, also called as reciprocal, is 1. The multiplicative inverse of a number a is 1 over a. So, our notation for this property is a times 1 over a is equal to 1. Ibig sabihin, if a number is multiplied to its multiplicative inverse or reciprocal, the answer is equal to 1. Example, 6. The multiplicative inverse of the integer 6 is 1 over 6. Take note, the multiplicative inverse, makuha natin yan when we get the reciprocal. And then, multiply 6 times 1, the answer is 6. Divided by 6, the answer is 1. Next example, what if negative 6? Ano yung multiplicative inverse niya? The multiplicative inverse ng negative 6 is equal to negative 1 over 6. So, negative 6 times negative 1, the answer is positive 6. Divided by 6, the answer is positive 1. Now, it's your turn. Try to identify the property that illustrate in each statement. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.